I think as the Department of Health, we want to appreciate the relationship that SIOC has with us. You will notice that on a number of occasions, even when we were in the middle of fighting the pandemic, I came here to receive a number of PPEs that were donated here. I came to receive uh, ventilators, uh, equipments that the doctors needed to use, the CPAP machines towards fighting COVID. So today, once again, they are here. Because of this project that I have launched last year as a department of rural health matters, wherein we made a, an undertaking that we want to see the province of Limpopo eradicating cataracts. That is the number one cause of blindness, especially to our senior citizens. We could not come here to Tavazimbi because resources were not permitting. And also Tavazimbi historically was never an eye clinic. Therefore, it meant we would have to start from scratch, having to look at the equipment that will assist our ophthalmologists to be able to operate on cataract. Now this partnership that SIO was able to fund uh, those equipment that currently the ophthalmologists are utilizing. They've been able to provide with some even extra professionals that we needed, the consumables that we needed, and that we really ap appreciate. And again, we are full of us, you see, we are taking it, uh, uh, all, it and it's not only focusing on eye clinic, it's also got the dental uh, part. It's also got the audiology uh, part of it. So, so that is just a comprehensive healthcare system. And now we have even agreed to say, because it can allow a shade while we're busy with the vaccination. When we get to that farm, we're going to park this bus and put another shade for others while they're waiting for their eye to be checked or after checking their eyes, we also offer them the vaccine. So you can see that this collaboration, it's really assisting us. Our healthcare system was hard hit by COVID-19. And I mean, we ended up neglecting other healthcare services like your AI services, because everybody was talking about COVID. So when we came with this project of Rural Health Matters, it was some, in some way to respond to the issues of the backlogs that we had, which were created by COVID-19. So now you can see we've started operating and here in Tavazimbi, we'll have done 150 cataracts. And in total, when you add with what we're doing in other areas, you can see that we are going to win in this battle. So I'm saying to Sayok, continue supporting us. It's for a good cause. And nobody in Limpopo must be blind because they do not have money for to perform a 15 minutes operation. It is very painful for me. Who knows and understand what it takes to remove a cataract. So, so I feel proud of this a particular collaboration. You might have seen in the words that we've got many patients coming from even other parts of uh, the, the country, coming from other provinces. And we pride ourselves to say, these are South Africans and all South Africans are benefiting and we can't chase them away. As long as they are South Africans and they've heard there's this service and they come, we will offer their services.